Hello, everyone. My Mr. Game Guy Color, and, uh, well, I'm kind of bored right now, and, uh, it's been a long time since I've done the Let's Play, so, uh, I'm gonna do one today. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Angels of Death. It's a game I have some fond memories with that holds a special place in my heart, so, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Let's just get started. Also, I apologize for the mic quality. Movement, run, shift, talk thing, window mode, stuff like that. Okay, this is all good. At least the game's kind enough to give us the controls again, because it's been, like, I don't know, I think two years since I last played it. Actually, no, yeah, it was a year since I last played it. <laughs> Something like that, I don't know. Da -da -ding. I... Again, yeah, going back to what I said, I apologize for the mic quality. My mic is having issues connecting itself with the computer. Let me start over. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but my mic is having issues where it has a unstable connection and it buzzes a lot. So I'm just using my laptop's mic. The people have forbidden me to ever do something like that, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway because... I don't know, I think I sound okay. Do I? I don't know. This uh, this this character right here seems kind of uh, confound with my explanation on this, so let's just continue on forward. <laughs> I've been missing doing these kind of videos, and I want to do some more. So anyway, question mark. Hmm? A blue full moon? Is it night? Where am I? Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, I gotta bring back the dots. Uh, no, I don't, I don't have to bring back the dots. Do I have to bring back the dots? Uh, uh, whether I feel like it or not. Anyway, I haven't even... I just got... I've been going on for about two minutes. I haven't even explained what the hell this game's about. Well, I was at a hospital. Well, the game kind of... I'll just let the game speak for itself, all right? How about that? Ah, uh, that's right. I'm pretty sure I was in a medical examination room. Dot, dot, dot. At any rate, I gotta hurry and find my mom and dad. They may be worried for me. They might be thinking, where is my little Rachel Gardner? Or just Ray for short. That works too. Anyway, so Angels of Death is another RPG Maker game that I am quite fond of. Strange moonlight illuminates the room. It's another one of these... What? A blue and beautiful moon? It doesn't even look real. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's a fake moon. Do you think it's a fake moon? I think it's a fake moon. <laughs> oh well. There's a white chair. Anyway, Angels of Death, though, is a uh, episodic horse horror game series. It's uh, kind of weird to say, though, but... Hmm? This isn't the same hospital as before. I guess I'll give some explanation though. It's a episodic, uh, an episodic horror game series though. It's it's a little strange though, but it's episodic that it comes in the in a package of four episodes. But when you buy this game, you immediately just get all the games together. So it's kind of it's kind of just split up into four chapters. I guess if you think about it, but oh well. But yes, the game it's split out into four games. Like right now we're on game one, and then we'll eventually make it over to game two, three, and then finally four. It appears to be a gate, though it's shut. But, oh well, enough explanation, let's just continue on. Hmm? There's writing on the wall. Do you think it uh, has any clarity of the story? Who art thou? To know thou must find out for th th thyself. Oh dear. Is... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Who is thine true self or thine desire self? An angel or a sacrifice? Know thyself and the gate shall open. And more fancy wordplay. Hmm? I guess I'll go on though about how I heard about this game. Uh, I heard about this game on the RPG Maker uh, 
Facebook fan site, and uh, this was one of the games they advertised for a good long while. They kept advertising how it was con how it came on Steam and it was translated to English, and they, you know, when they were making that the big headline. So I thought, ah, oh, what the heck not? I'll, I'll go ahead and you know buy it. It's it's ten dollars on Steam. I decide, ah, oh, why the hell not? I'll go ahead and pick it up. I played it blind and I freaking loved it. <laughs> Just to put it short, there's a computer that is turned off. I should probably also mention that this is another RPG Maker game that was originally made in Japanese, but was translated to English. So, you know, that was pretty nice of them. Your reflection is a cast in the mirror. Just my usual self and my usual reflection. Or usual self-reflection, I guess you could say. What the? The computer just turned on. It appears the computer is turned on. <laughs> It turned on by looking at a mirror. And by having it... <laughs> oh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> I kind of like how the, the reflection, though, kind of does correlate to which direction you're facing. That's kind of a nice little detail right there. But, alas. I understand this is done in an RPG Maker, and it, does, and, it does, and it can't like directly reflect like every movement you're doing. So, oh well. RPG Maker is kind of a limited program. The computer automatically powered on indicating some sort of program. The info screen is open. Enter data. Please answer the following. Okay, well you want my date of birth or my social security number or the what condiments I prefer on my pizza? Name? Well, uh, let's see. Um... Okay, my name is... <laughs> Right? Oh. No? R Rachel Gardner. Oh. Never mind. Age? 21? Oh. No. 13. Man, it feels kind of surreal. Back when I was doing those old playthroughs, I think I was about 17 when I backed it, when I first did it. Now, now I'm here doing... I'm here 21, and I've only done about, like... Eight playthroughs since then. <laughs> Two playthroughs per year, I guess you could say. So, we're Rachel Gardner, we're 13, and what are we doing here? I'm pretty sure I was at a hospital, and when I came to... Wait, and when I came to, I was here. Wait, I'm pretty sure I was at a hospital, and when I came to, I was here. Don't you be... And when I came to it, thus I was here... I don't know... <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably goof that up. Why? Uh... Reasons? Why? Oh shoot, this computer wants to know everything about me! Why? Why? Why the hospital? Why do you taunt me with this? Also, I kind of noticed that the text is a little cr cropped out, though, by the text box. That's probably not right, but oh well. You can kind of see by that W back there. I saw someone... I saw someone... Die. Oh, I'm sorry. I saw someone dash dash. I saw someone die. Dot 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 dot. It happened right in front of me. Dot dot dot. Ellipsis. So... I was brought here for counseling. What will you do now? Wow, the robot must be sentient. Leave this place? I've got nothing else better to do. I want to see my mom and dad. Entry complete. Or I'm sorry, dash dash entry complete. Period. Distri distributing or distributing play start key card. Ellipsis. Oh, that's quite handy of him. Oh, thank you. The computer is off and shows no sign of powering on, even when pressing its buttons. Buttons, buttons, buttons. There's no buttons around. Maybe if I check the mirror again, it will work. Or not, I suppose. But alas. Now, maybe these security cameras have any sort of significance to this area we're in. It looks like a security camera is mounted on the ceiling. I wonder who's watching. Maybe it's, uh... Oh. 
maybe it's one of those cameras that's filming those kind of reality TV shows, and they say that it's an actor pretending to be in a horrifying area, only this time we're not an actor, we actually have no idea what's going on. <laughs> anyway, well, enough about that, we have a card. Can I get out of this place if I use this? Still, I wonder what it means by play start. I believe the correct term is press start. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, no. We'll move on from there, uh, and, then, and thus we'll continue forward. Okay, I'm back. Just had a little bathroom break right there. Do not mind me at all. Anyway, now that we have our key card, let's go do things that you do with key cards. Which involves not going to this gate. Maybe if we use this key card on the white chair, we might be able to figure out a scenario. Okay, no, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just messing around. Let's go ahead and do the thing we need to do. It appears to be insert... Wait, it appears to be for inserting a key card. Items for your inventory can be used in specific locations by selecting them from the menu. Oh, okay, it's... I forgot about this, but it's like the witch's house. You have to select it from the menu in order for it to work. Inserted the key card. I kind of like this kind of system, though. It uh, allows for some experimenting to see what works and what doesn't. Kind of reminds me of like a point-and-click game. So here we have a this elevator. It only has an up button. <laughs> first, I didn't even. I couldn't even tell that was an elevator. At first, I thought it was like a garbage compactor or something. It's hard. I don't remember this being here in this basement. Well. I imagine you probably weren't in every part or every room of the hospital, but okay. The girl on the bottom floor is hereby a sacrifice of oh, some what? A sacrifice? For what? I didn't do anything! All floors, please make preparations. Beyond here lies the play area. Uh oh no. The gates will now open. Oh. Well, that's just peachy. That announcement just now, what did it mean? Yeah, and going back to what I say, you can kind of see how the W over here, the capitalized W, is kind of cut off a little bit. That's a small kind of glitch that a lot of people don't know in how to manage an RPG maker. Uh, I'm assuming this is VX Ace, I believe? It appears to be an elevator that goes to an upper floor. The elevator only has an up button. Ah, I see no reason to go. Okay, fine. I guess we have to go. But to get back to that, I actually have RPG Maker VX Ace, and I experienced that glitch that has text get cut off. And apparently, I think that's due to floor B6. Oh, thank you, text prompt. The elevator stopped. Am I inside a building? Something's not right here. Anywho, we're... Where's the way out? Oh, I'm sorry, anyhow. If a Josh was here, he would correct me about that. Anyway, to back what I was saying, I, I have experienced that kind of text cropping glitch that, that this game is experiencing. I don't remember how to fix it, but I do know that there is a way to. It's uh, kind of, you have to kind of go out of your way to do it, though. But all it does is, like, make sure the text doesn't get cropped out. Flies buzz around the garbage. Well, here we, here we are, thus entered B6. I wonder what B6 stands for. Nah, it's, it's, it's likely just Basement 6. There are heaps of garbage. No, I wasn't aware that was the case. But oh, where? Let's see, can we go down here? Nope. Alright, seems like we're just going down the straight path. Huh? Gotta hurry! I don't know how, I don't know why, but I gotta hurry, alright. What the? Oh, okay, for a second I thought we entered the place. I don't recognize this place at all. What? Why am I even here? There's a newspaper. Will it shred some light on this place? Eh, maybe it'll shred more light than the lamps here, but okay, sure. A reckless murderer? <gasps> dash dash on date retracted. Is that retracted? Yeah. Date retracted. The body of a male was found on street retracted in state retracted. <laughs> Haven't been to those places. The body has been has gaping wounds, seemingly infected by a sharp blade. Authorities are treating it as a murder, or a very, very, very brutal suicide. But you know, whatever works. 
Or maybe just some freak accident. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't there. I could begin to tell you there. Since last month, a string of similar murders have taken place in the States. Well, yes, that's... You should probably add that this, uh, this is a horror game after all, so there's always gotta be death in it. No associations or similarities have been drawn with the victim, so nearby residents are asked to exercise the ca sorry, exercise caution. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can make a horror game without having murder or any form of physical harm infecting you, but whatever. An article about murder. I see. Okay, so just checking this again, though, just tells us the newspaper. All right, well, what's down here? It looks like a black alley. I'm a little scared to go down it. I don't blame you. Can't even see your can't even see your sprite once that happens. Next, we're going down here and we're in lane or is that lame? I think that's lane. Yeah, can't tell. It, it could be either or, or maybe it's the li the lame lane or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, here we are in this alleyway, or I'm guessing this <laughs> this basement floor that's designed like an alleyway. Anyway, alleyway. Anyway, wow, <laughs> that that can't be. This is just the building's basement. Yep, <laughs> kind of got a little ahead of myself there, but yep, this is this is a basement designed like an alley. The door is shut and boarded up. Oh, I wonder why. Can we expect it over here? No? Uh, Alright then. I was down here. It looks like a back alley. I'm a little scared to go down it. Alright. To each his own. Or to each her own in this scenario. Let's see what else we got here. Something smells awful. Hmm. A brownish red stain is visible on the back of the road. Hmm. Huh. wonder what else we'll find here. This door is locked, but there's no keyhole to be found. An emergency exit marked. Next to it, it says elevator passage. Is the elevator in there? But it won't open. <laughs> There's not even a keyhole. How am I supposed to open it? Oh. I guess if mint here, she would say redundant is redundant, but alas. I gotta find a way to open this door. Guess I'll take a look around places. Wait, guess I'll take a... I'm mispronouncing this. Guess I'll take a look around places I have yet to explore. There you go. That is grammarly correct. I'm just misreading it. <laughs> okay, so what about down here? What the? Oh, it's a hole. Okay, for a second, let me click through it. There's a large shovel. It looks a touch heavy to carry. What do you mean you can't take it? You're a character in an RPG game. You should be able to carry it. Actually, I, we haven't even explored this. Ray... Gardner. I guess we'll take some time to save. Ah, here's my original save file when I eventually did this. Yeah, let's go ahead and save over it. Okay. We have exit. Back to title. Exit camera cancel. Okay. I also have to say, though, I, I like the little sound effects that play when you when you confirm and cancel out of things. Anyway, um, we have a handbag contains a sewing kit and something wrapped in a handkerchief. Uh, it's also a seven letter word for purse, if you didn't know that. <laughs> for anybody out there who's a fan of crossword puzzles, or The Office. <laughs> the uh, recent American one, I should add. But alas. Over here. Okay, anything here? The door is locked. Okay. Nothing over here. Pink smells awful. All right. Um, well, she says we have places yet to explore. Maybe we can visit these alleyways. Huh? What do you know? Okay. What's down here? A back alley murder. Oh, great. On uh, date retracted. Yet another body was found on street retracted. In the state retracted. I want to know where this takes place in. I mean, it, pr it probably takes place in America, so I'm not sure. A nearby residence was found in the town's back alley. It's believed to be a teenage boy, but his identity is unknown. Ooh, the body, the body sustained, wait, sustained, yeah, the body sustained severed lacerations, lacerations, locations, lacerations, something like that. I am, uh, I am uh, not very good at reading, so my apologies. 
or I shouldn't really apologize. I, I'm just not very good at reading. Uh, it's just one of my quirks as a human being. But uh, anyway, the body su suffered horrible injuries, and the incident is being treated as one of several serial murders. I wonder why that is. Serial murders? What kind of interest does this murderer have with these people? Graffiti. How is it that I'm indoors, but it looks just like a back alley? Huh. The person who designed this building, though, must have some pretty tasteful forms of interior design. There are traces of reddish bra brown splatter, splatter of some sorts. Uh, hmm? It reeks of blood. <gasps> Unheard of. Someone's be befitting awaits you on each floor here. Each are bound by a rule to never leave their floor. Oh, so what is this? Like? Is this like Saw or something? If you value your life, you have no choice but to ascend the floors. I mean, yeah, I guess we have to. I mean, from the looks of the bottom floor, there doesn't seem to be any food, water, or bathroom, so I guess we have to go forward. Something's inside the hole. Acquired a key. What door does this key even open? The back left door doesn't have a keyhole, so it must be meant for another door? Perhaps so, our protagonist, Rachel. Perhaps so. But we have another place we need to explore first. Let's go here. See if there's anything here. Hopefully there's uh, nobody out on a crazy spur out to get us or anything. The inside of this locker is empty. Okay. Nothing but tires I've noticed. It appears to the door wait, it appears the door is boarded up, but the space inside lacks depth. Huh. Okay, what about up here? A bird is chirping from a hole in the roof. A bird? Huh. What are you doing in a place like this? Come here. Are you weak? How can I get it down? I wonder if it's hungry. Well, gee, since she wonders that it's hungry, maybe that's the explanation we're supposed to do. Maybe we're supposed to feed it. It's a glass bottle. The contents have been drunk to its last drop. You know, fabulous. Well, there goes our any form of survival down here. There are tin cans in the garbage can. There's an old discarded mattress. Hmm. You think there's any, uh, anything we could use for food or supplies here to, I guess, delay and see what else is going on? No? Okay. <laughs> ah, well. Door appears to be locked. Alright, thankfully, we have the B6 indoor key. Using the, the key opens the door. So wait, so it doesn't make noise. Excuse me, I'm just turning my heater on. It's getting a little chilly in here. I should probably also mention I'm recording this on New Year's Day, of all things, so... <laughs> kind of an odd time to be recording a Let's Play episode, but alas. There's some sort of drug. Drug. A serial killer. On date retracted, the remains of Joe Smithy were found in a, in a factory in town retracted in state retracted. Joe Smithy, <laughs> how, how fitting he was in a factory. Based on the wounds, it is believed to be the work of the serial killer who's shaken up this town. What? The factory worker, Joe Smithy, at 26, is a hard-working, earnest, and upstanding young man. <laughs> we also gotta add the details, and to make it more personal, that way, when we eventually get this killer, he can pay. Or something. The incident occurred on the same day he had excitedly told co-workers that he was getting a new car. This random murder spree has purged the town in fear. I'm inside a building, aren't I? Yep. There appears to be some sort of staff uniforms inside. Hmm, I wonder if we can take it. No? Alright. It appears to be some sort of strange storage cabinet, but shut tight. Alas, anything in here? Nope. As you know, my code whenever playing these games is to examine every little pixel, because you may find something good. It appears to be some sort of factory machine meter, but it isn't working. Is there anything to correlate in here? There's a large box, but it's rusted shut. Okay. Nothing inside the closet. Old tableware on its shelf. Let's see, the only thing that's inside this large box is a single bag of snacks. Ooh! Okay, well at least we can delay our our ascending forward though by with this bag of snacks. What a waste for this box to be so big for wait. What a, 
What a waste for a box this big to be empty. Heck, it looks like I can fit in there myself. With room to spare. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to come into play anytime soon. Probably not, but oh well. Doors locked. Fabulous. Well, we can't really seem to eat the bag of snacks, I presume. What kind of snack food is this? My stomach's not growing, not growling, but I'm really curious. Well, I kind of already spoiled it two seconds ahead, though, but yep. <laughs> we can't exactly eat the snacks, though, so I'm guessing maybe the bird would like it. Or something. Something. Something, 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 something. Maybe it'll come down if I offer it some food. Okay, uh, here. Have some snacks. Will it eat this? Open the bag of snacks. So, what do we have? Do we have a bag of chips or something? Maybe it's a bag of carrots. Ooh. Is it hurt? One of its wings is covered in blood. Hey, are you hungry? Good. Eat it all up now. You're so precious. Satisfying its hunger won't help it fly. <laughs> I gotta make you all better. It's alright. Hold still. There. Now you should be fine. What did what you do? But I worry. So you're coming with me. What do we do? Acquired injured bird. So did we, uh... Let's check the bird. Its wings are bleeding. Though its wounds are stitched up, it, it doesn't seem to be able to fly. Uh, oh, we sewed the wings together. That's, uh... Ugh. I'm kind of surprised she was able to... It's coming from the passage on the other side. I can't... What's that sound? It's scaring the bird. Oh, I hope there's never an instance, though, where we have to, uh... Give up the bird to a hole like in the witch's house. Oh, great! Well, we're not going back there. No, what? I gotta get out of here. The heavy shutter is down, blocking the way. Alright. Bird! It's alright, don't be scared. I seriously do hope that this is not like the witch's house and we have to like give it up to like a snake or something. Maybe we'll have to give it up to the killer. Wait! Bird! What are you doing? Bird! Don't be scared. Let's leave this place together. I mean... Okay. <laughs> I did not mean to preemptively. Okay, I'm just gonna take that. I just blurted it out before. All right, never mind. My fingers are quicker than my brain can withstand. But oh well. Anyway, we have a bird companion. Oh, come here. You and me are gonna be best of. <laughs> never mind. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Wipe that stupid smug and look off your face! And surrender to despair! I'll give you a three second head start! How far can you run? Now cry, scream, and beg for your life! Show me the despair on your face! Yes! More! B46, Zack! Okay, up! Let's get to the get out of your bed! This is cleaning quickly, the bill. Well, get out of here. I gotta hide somewhere. What? What the? That is an odd as heck glitch, but okay. He's just. He's just running out of time. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> huh? Where the hell did that bitch go? <laughs> Oh God. I've never seen that before! This room? <laughs> Shit, it's locked! I guess I'll have to unlock it! 
Oh my god! It was just, it was just like climbing out there, like let me in. Is it God? Oh uh, no, no, he's probably still outside the outskirts of the map. I hope it doesn't come back. I gotta escape this place before it finds me. If it catches me. <laughs> the bird. Oh, yeah, that's right. The bird. Wow, that was a. Uh, that was something. There's a large box, but it's rusted shut. But anyway, I was meant to take that. I did not mean to have that scene go by as silly as it did, but I can't help but laugh at it. Okay. Yes, the the creeper guy did un un unlock it, so we're fine. There's a lock on the hatch door. It says in small print, elevator passage control room. Maybe the back left door will open it from here. <laughs> it appears to be empty. Okay. It's junk. I was about to say, I worry about the bird. I was about to say, like, the creeper was pretty, it was pretty kind of quick to jump to conclusions when <laughs> figuring we escaped considering the door locked. He didn't even think of to check any of the boxes, but okay. Anyway, the bird is ripped into two. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. At least let me give it a proper burial. Come here. I'll take you there. Well, crap. It seems... It, is there anywhere around here that will make a decent grave? What about some tools? Okay, maybe we'll... Uh, the wooden planks up here for... Wait, the wooden planks used for boarding up the door are missing. The inside is dimly lit and it's obscured. Oh, so we can't go in? Right, never mind. I guess we'll we'll find out what that means now. But yeah, that was a that was very smart to use Zach to just leave us in the room. I should be able to bury the poor little guy here with this shovel. Dun, dun, dun. No. You're not my little birdie. Huh? Not like this. Not like this. Oh, okay. For, for a second, I thought she said, I don't sympathize with you, bird. No, it's just, you shouldn't look like this. This is just cruel. Dot, dot, dot. I gotta fix you up, little birdie. There. You're all better now. I'll make my birdie... All better. Look, good as new. All that's left is to bury it. Okay. So, uh, Something's on the ground. Ah, come to think of it, I had a feeling that something fell out of its stomach earlier. Ugh. Acquired a key! Okay, well no wonder the bird was not feeling too well. I mean, it's crazy to think you swallowed something like this. Well, anyway, we have a key. Um, maybe that's, I mean, it probably doesn't explain why the wing was injured, but oh well. Anyway, take the, uh... Oh my... Come on, Rachel! You're not even going to take the shovel? I mean, it's not much. You said it was a little heavy, but it may help you against the freaking creeper dude. Okay, never mind. I'm sure Mr. Crazy... Well, actually, I haven't explored over here. <laughs> There's no water running. Oh, well, never mind. I guess that stuff's not our chances of getting any running water or snacks down here. Not that it helps, though, since we know that Mr. Creepy Zack guy is out there, but oh well. Mr. Countdown Man is going to be on the lookout for us. But alas. Speaking of which, where is he? Kind of just disappeared after that happened. Maybe it's like Eve where he's like, he's just wandering around the area while we are. But just 
every time we, but just conveniently speaking, every time we enter a room, he just enters a different room and he never actually knows we're there. Like he's a complete 180 on the other side of the area. It's something like that. I don't know. That'd be kind of funny if that was the case. It says in small print, elevator passage control room. Maybe the back left door will open from here. Well, it's a good thing we have a key. Elevator passage control room key is written on it. And then the key opens the floor panel. Well, gee, maybe maybe this key with the same title as the door has some sort of significance to it. Do you agree? I'll, I'll, stop, being, I'll stop being a jerk. What's this place? There's a switch there. It says elevator passage gate. Will this open the back left door? No. Now, let's uh, find a different path to open it. Okay. No, 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 no. Of course we're supposed to open it. I never understand these games that give us options to decline it, even if the declining option does absolutely nothing. Uh, this means I could finally get the heck out of this place now. Alright, how do we go? It's been locked. Oh, great! Yep. Uh. Yeah, uh. Um. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah, just. Just. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, come on. Just gotta. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> He's no. <nope. laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Peekaboo! I found you at last! Well, I should have locked this door. Should have done that before. No head start for you this time! Okay, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Book it, book it, book it! Gotta get out! Get, go, 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 go! Thank God he doesn't run faster. Hold it! No, 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 Get out, get out, get out! <laughs> okay. Well, run away and live to, live to see another day. Thank God I didn't get caught. <laughs> what is that? The thing? I don't know what it is, but oh well. The quicker I'm at, the quicker I'm out of here, the better. Okay, I know what it is. It's the, uh, the elevator stopped. I also gotta find a way out. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty obvious, though, that that guy that chased us is most likely the murderer we read about in the articles of the newspaper clippings, but alas. Alright, so that's all we're going to do for this episode. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below, and if you want to see any other kind of videos from me, just please go ahead and feel free to send me a message or just tell me in the comments. I would very much appreciate that. Also, I would just like to say thank you very much to all of you, though, for subscribing to me. I have recently reached over 101 subscribers this past two weeks, so I just want to say thank you very much for all that, and thank you guys all for joining me. If there's anything you guys want to see from me, just please let me know in the comments below, because, hey, you guys subscri subscribed for a reason, and I would like to provide. Anyway, I'm going to end this video off. I'm Mr. Game Guy Color, followed up by some catchphrase. Have yourself a wonderful day.